I want to, to play a, a little game with you. I, I'm going to ask you uh, 30 questions. So I want you to think about the answer before I, I tell you the answer, OK? So let's imagine two teams, yeah? Uh, team A, it finished last season with 44 points and a plus two goal, goal difference. Team B finished last season with just 40 points, but it got a plus six goal difference. Which team do you think should be considered uh, the favorite if these two teams played on, on neutral ground? Yeah. Which team do you, do you think is, uh, is more likely to finish higher next season? So here the answer is uh, Team B. Even though Team B got fewer points than Team A last season, it got a better goal difference. And when you try to build a forecasting model for football, you soon uh, notice that goal difference is a, is a stronger predictor than points. In 60%, 60 uh, percent of the time, in this type of situations, uh, the team with a greater goal difference ends up in a higher position the, the season after than the team with uh, that got more points with a lower, a worse goal difference. Next question. Let's imagine a team. Yeah, it finished. Uh, 11th two seasons ago it finished seventh last season so what do you think is most likely to happen uh, next season will the team should we expect the team to finish between seventh and 11th should we expect the team to finish close to the seventh place because that was its previous season result? Or should we expect the team to keep on improving and finish above the seventh position? Here, uh, in, in major in European football, the answer is A. We should expect the team to finish between seventh and 11th. Why? Because as a general rule, in order to assess a team, we need more than one full season. When you build your model, you, uh, you see that longer variables, variables that include the current season and the two previous season seasons are more powerful than shorter variables, okay? I'm not saying that what happened two seasons ago matters as much as what uh, happens last season. No, that's not the case. What happened last season is more important than what happened two seasons ago. But if we combine the information from both seasons, we can build better, more powerful variables. Let's imagine two teams, yeah? So far in the league, they have uh, achieved the same goal difference, plus two, yeah? But team A is more offensive. It's a more offensive team. They have scored 11 goals and conceded just nine. Team B is more defensive than team A. They have scored seven goals and they have conceded five. So. If these teams face each other, which team do you think should be the favorite? Team A, because it has a stronger attack, or Team B, because it has a stronger defense? Or none of them? So here the answer is C. Why? Because when you try to model, you see that attack variables Offensive variables are as relevant as defensive variables. So, for example, shots taken or shots received are 
have the same predictive capacity. Mm, similarly, goals scored and goals conceded are equally important. So defense is as important as attack. Let's imagine uh, two teams that face each other on the second match day of the season. Yeah, Team A lost on match day one. It shot four times on target and it received four shots on target. Okay, Team B won on match day one. But it got lucky because it shot only one time on target and it scored. Yeah and it received three shots on target. So when they teams play against each other on match day two, which should we consider the favorite? So in this case, with this limited information, we should consider team A as the favorite. Yeah. Because even though it lost, it's, uh, well, its level of play was better than Team B. Team B just got lucky. You can get lucky one day, but that doesn't mean that you will get lucky the day after, yeah? But if you are playing reasonably well, well, that is likely to continue uh, in the future. Let's imagine the following match between two Premier League teams. Team A is in the 11th place and Team B is in the 17th place, yeah? So if they play against each other, which team is the favorite? So generally speaking, in most cases, we should consider Team A as the favorite, yes. But would we change our prediction if this match was played on the final uh, match week of the league? Yes, of course, we should change our prediction. If these teams play on the final match day of the league, Team B should be considered the favorite. Why? Because on the final match day, Team A is no longer... Mm, strongly motivated. They are in the middle of the, of the table. They cannot qualify for Europe. They are certainly not going to get relegated. Whereas Team B, being in the 17th place, they are likely to be fighting for their lives to, in order to avoid relegation. 